Howdy mates. Good afternoon. Here's my second video log for today. Right now I'm kind of in a similar area where I was just a little bit ago. I'm now kayaking along some of the mangroves down here in the Charlotte Harbor area. And you see those two white dots on my left? Well, I believe those are snow or yeah, snow egrets. Those are very common birds found in the state of Florida. And usually, well, to be honest, a lot of the alligators like to eat those a lot. So actually, you know, while being out here, I'm just making sure that I'm keeping an eye out for them, if there are any. Yeah, that's why, like, I'm staying kind of in the middle of the channel, so that I'm not too close to the shoreline. I'm just keeping my distance, so to speak, just in case. But I am aware that sometimes you gotta look out for them. But there they are. They're just chilling out right now. And yeah, this is essentially what a mangrove community looks like, you know, and kept in its natural habitat. What's neat about mangroves in particular is how they form so many different, what you would call, canals along the brackish water. So that's why you always want to like look for any markers so that you don't easily get lost. And typically another thing that I'll do is use uh, spatial learning, which essentially means you look for a certain feature and usually once you see that feature, you know that you're in a particular area. So for example, these longleaf pines and that tells me, in my case, that I'm close to the main channel, which is ahead of me. So, basically, use any method that works for you. But that's just one way of how I help navigate myself in these waters. But, yeah, this is so cool. I love it. It's been a while since I've had the chance to really come out in these parts like I was down in Florida a lot this past summer but the issue is it gets freaking hot during that time of the year I mean it's it just gets way too toasty at least now it's it's a bit tolerable because you figure it's probably in the 70s lower 70s right now so it's like perfect. But yeah, a lot of these that we're seeing are red mangroves. As always, and surprisingly enough, you can see some cabbage palm, which really doesn't happen too often, especially in a community full of mangroves. And then to my left too, along these pneumatophores or the roots, that have an aerial appearance, they have all those muscles on them. And you gotta be careful if you ever get in close contact with them because they are extremely sharp. Because I, I will be honest, way back in April, when I wasn't as um, experienced with those, I got, I had a little cut on one of them, and it, yeah, it kind of hurts. <laughs> but, yeah, great day. All right, so I'll show you guys. Yep, that's behind me. Ooh, I see some dolphins. I don't know if you guys saw that. But out there, I saw their little uh, dorsal fins pop out. Wow. There they are. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. 
that's something else that I forgot to mention with you guys. Every now and then, you guys can actually see dolphins out here too. And along with that, you can even see West Indian manatees every now and then. Sometimes you can be lucky. And I forgot to mention too, you, you also can see the rosate spoonbill. Which usually has those long pink beaks on them. Yeah, they're not popping up again. Dang. Well, I'm glad I was able to capture some of it on video. Yep, there they are. That's so cool. So, all right. Thought I would share that with you guys. Hope you learned something in the video. Pretty chill day. So, all right. Hope all of you enjoy your Tuesday and journey on a journey is out. Take care, folks.